Happy Dub Dub! Happy Dub Dub! Good morning! Yo, good morning everybody. Alexa, play me music. What are we doing for 2020? Play me music by Fortunate Youth. It's just another day. Alexa? Is that true? Shuffle songs by Fortunate Youth. You want to hear trouble featuring Fortunate Youth? Alexa! Shuffle songs by Fortunate Youth. Look at his hair. It's becoming unruly. Alexa! Shuffle songs by Fortunate Youth. Dude. Alexa, volume two. Come on, Alexa. It's 2020. All right. Real quick. I. That's all from last night. Yo, I ripped the shit out of this thing. Scorched the shit out of it, ripped it. As you can see, this was downstairs, this was upstairs. I was on the couch just... Oh, that's good enough. I fucking passed right out. Happy Dub Dub! Happy Dub Dub! Happy Dub Dub! Happy Dub 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 all right, well, that's crazy. We done. We done. Happy, happy dub dub. Rubber dub 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 dub. Happy dub dub. Fast the up, fast the up, yeah. Ba na 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 na. Banana. Okay. Well, you guys know what the video the, the video is I'm doing because I've already picked it. But right now, as of right now, currently, while I'm doing this, I do not know what video I'm going to do right now. I know it's going to be an oil video. And I know it's going to be out of this dude. Hmm. All right, let's see. You know what I'm going to do? It's been sitting here. I'm going to do this this prime. All right? It's been a lot of um, debauchery with the prime relabeling, relabeling. I feel like it was just one lot. Somebody fucked it up, one employee. All right, so let's get this Trey Star high, Highwayman, which is uh, it's, it's Trey Star across the Highwayman. Super simple, super easy. Starting out dub dub, little 2020 action. All right, um, they use a process, I think it's called a C, I can't remember. It's an extraction process that they use, and it makes everything turn white. Basically, it's the way you take your trim run and get the chlorophyll out so it turns white. Um, kind of, it's like, it's kind of like that. All right, so I'll read this off to you. Uh, the numbers are 1.4 THC, so that's pretty cool. You can eat it and get a little, maybe nothing. Hey, 8.5 on the THCA. CBG is coming in at 0.5. CBC is 0.4. Uh, let's see. Top Terp. Top Terp looking like Carfillion's at 1%. Now, you look at these, all right? These numbers are low. This is a trim run. Don't get it fucked up. This is like, there might be some nug in here. But you're calling this a sugar wax? It's like a trim run. Everybody's using this extraction method, I feel like, these days. Um, to get this, like, white, um, to get, like, this white consistency. All right, so it's 1% on the, on the MERS, or on the car. And MERS is at 0.85, we'll round up to 9. So it's 1.9. This is at 1, so that's 2%. Hume is at 0.3. Laminine is at 0.4. So that's 8, 9, 10. So that's 1, 2, that's 3%. 3.9, almost 4% terps. So it's still not bad. Best the herb, best the herb. Nah. -na 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 -na. All right. Trey Star Highwaymen. Uh, number 12, Sugar Wax Hybrid. Here we go. Let's get it. All right. Not white. Just want to put that out there. It's not white. That is yellow. Um, you see that? It has color. It has, it has terps. Ah, shit. I dropped it. Good thing it's sticky. 
<laughs> All right. Let's heat this guy up. Remember the new way I'm doing things now. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. All right, I like doing it for 40 seconds. Then I take my dab. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take a nice, nice fatty for 2020. Take my temp gun. Okay. Uh, 912 degrees. Absolutely scorch your lungs. So we wait. 804. 804. Do you see? We're going to go in at 600. 753. I know. It sucks, right? You got to wait, but if you don't, that's what happened. That's why my banger got scorched. Because I didn't wait. Six fifty. This is normally what I would go in at. But we're gonna get a little bit lower. Six twenty five. Six hundred. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> With this extraction method, for some reason, everything always tastes like Sprite. <clears throat> now, in this one's defense, this has a, um, <clears throat> total it's coming at um, 0.8 for alpha and beta <clears throat> this cheap little Chinese banger carb cap glowing dark uh, dawn retains heat very well Very well. <coughs> wow. Super good, right? So we're down to 300, right? <coughs> so. I'm going to heat it back up. Now, reheating it is sketchy because you can get it too hot and then you'll scorch it. 640. It's a good temp. Say something. <coughs> this extraction method has a distinct 
buttery taste. <coughs> when it gets hot. <coughs> or reclaim. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> Legit tastes like buttered popcorn. On the reheat. <coughs> but a lot of things are tasting like that these days. <coughs> With a certain type of, um, of extraction. Uh, <coughs> So, <coughs> reheating it, never a fan of reheating it, <coughs> but I do it for you guys, and that's, that's a lie, <coughs> I don't do it just for you guys, because I do it for myself sometimes, but <coughs> I gotta be honest, <coughs> The taste. <coughs> oh, fuck. Ah, or gross. Oh, man. <coughs> so the effects are pretty good. Um, <coughs> I got a nice little buzz going. Ah, definitely got a nice buzz going. clean though, you know, it's like a good clean head buzz. <coughs> Here's my whole thing, right? You know, I hope that in, in this, this new year, with this new year coming, this will be my third year in the program, alright? <coughs> third year. February, um, Right? Yeah, February 2018, February 2019, February 2020. <coughs> Third year. Um, and in that, in that third year, I really hope for $50 concentrates. Okay? <coughs> I'd like to see, actually, I'd like to see us get down to that $50 and $40 mark on concentrates. I would. I would love it. I feel like there is a definite need <coughs> for <coughs> I don't know why well I know why I always cough with this type of extraction method to certain I can't remember the name I want to say it's CRC but that's not it it might be RCR no no no, no. <coughs> anywho I hope that in 2020, that we get a lot more companies coming out. <clears throat> because the reason why I said it is because, oh no, oh god, I was like, dude, to my added tissues, that would be so lame. <coughs> if we were. <coughs> oh man, if we get more growers, more processors. Well, that's not necessarily going to be the case. The truth. We've got more. <clears throat> you know, I got AgriKind. We got Calypso. I don't know. There's a fucking another one. <coughs> that's crazy. That's her Achilles heel. She thinks that that word is her name. All right. So, happy dev dev. Stupidest shirt I ever made. Can't even see it. I was just experimenting. I was like, well, I'm not experiment with this. All right. So, in 2020, <clears throat> the things that I want to see are all, <clears throat> everyone who currently has a license, a grower, producer license. Dude, there's so much glass in this table. Like, I don't know how my cat doesn't just knock it all off. <clears throat> I want to see... Really, I would really like to see somebody come out like Terrapin did. Terrapin came out and was like, yo, this is how we roll. Affordable medicine for the masses. It is why I rep Terrapin since day one. <clears throat> day one, Cresco and Terrapin are the only two companies that I honestly <clears throat> can say have been literally consistent from the time they released their products until now. Except with this, with Cresco, they had a, they had a, 
I don't know what happened. <clears throat> well, I know what happened. <clears throat> uh, they had a, a lead grower processor. He was training his team. And then the dude left. And he wasn't doing it anymore, I guess. But he had a team and he trained him. Well, so, something happened. I guess they didn't retain the knowledge or whatever. <clears throat> dude wasn't there. So the concentrate fell back off. Dude came back around. And, and, you know, these are all hypotheticals, but I follow the dude on Instagram. I'm not stupid. Like, I see when the dude's back home, and he's from Delco. He's from around here. <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, and what I'm saying is, besides that little minor hiccup in their concentrates, when they were, like, terpy as fuck, and then they were, like, dude, like, non-existent terps. And then they were back to being terpy, like, and you're going to see. I got Jack the Ripper. I, this one I did get two of them. I had to. They were half grams, which is another thing I'm going to get into. <clears throat> I'm trying. I'm looking for the picture in my head. I think it's like 4.913 or some shit. <clears throat> Where's it at? Let's, let's fact check that. On the Terpaline. Would I say 4... Point nine one three or three one, I think. <clears throat> Dude, that'd be badass if I got that right. Ah, oh, ah, oh, so close! I was fucking so close. Four point nine one seven. Yo, that's pretty fucking good for opening this up when I was high as shit last night. I'm talking about fucking higher than giraffe pussy last night. I was. I was fucked up. Yo. I smoked so much herbs fucking last night. Let me tell you. Yo, you know, I'm not one to brush or bag, brag, but I, I'll i outsmoke any motherfucker out there. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going to make that bold-ass statement <clears throat> in PA. I'll say in PA because I can't fuck around with some of these dudes in some of these states like California and Colorado and shit. Motherfuckers buying grams of oil for Badass oil for ten dollars. Well, guess what, buddy? I'm buying the same shit for fifty dollars. So, just in, just saying, you get five times more oil than I do. Your tolerance is gonna be five times more than mine. Just off the math, my man. Don't fucking come at me, bro. <laughs> I'm talking to nobody. Uh, so hi. Mm. Well, what I want you guys to understand something is the point. I just made a valid cannabis fucking point. That cannabis does not retard your memory, your hippocampus. Oh, fuck yeah, look at that. Look that word up, hippocampus. Fucking look it up. All right. I'm just, yeah, but look it up. It's legit. It actually increases it. It's, it's capacity. The way it works, your brain, your hippocampus. Hippocampus. It's a pretty cool word, and that I... I have to be honest, uh, if, if you watched that last video all the way through, then you know I like words. And I like putting them together in sentences. And then I like to make those sentences rhyme. <clears throat> but the reason why I'm saying that is because last night when I was right, oh man, you know I was so fucking high, man. Blah, 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 blah. Yo, in that moment, I was super, my brain, like you unlock a fucking door. When you get like that on some edibles, especially... There's a fucking part of your brain, like, I feel it happen. It is, like, the craziest, I can't, I can only explain it in the way that I, this happens, and only other people who have experienced it are like, I know, yeah, fuck yeah, dude, so, knife hand's coming out. Listen, it's like a fucking part of my brain that I can't access normally, and then when I get really fucking high as fuck on edibles or just massive amounts of THC, right, I feel it. It's like a like a part of my brain just unlocks and then boom, the way I think and put shit together is way different. Now I know that everybody around me is gonna say the same shit. Like, motherfucker, you're just high as fuck. You're just fucking high, dude. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Then how the fuck did I remember fucking four point nine one three? What I thought was a seven, it's a or three, it is a seven. But how? How? In the moment of that, all fucking high, right? Shut the fuck up. And I read that. 
Do I have a good memory? Yes, I do. And the reason is because of cannabis. You ever see the, you ever see, you ever see a South Park episode where motherfucking Tally's out there fucking, and he's like, hold up, I gotta get high. And they're at the base, right? He's fucking over there toking up his little J and, ah, da -da 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 -da, and he goes, do, do, do. Do, do. He goes to the keypad, right? Do, do. Do, 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 do. He's like, yep, wait, hope that's it. Do, 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 He starts doing the funky jam. And they're like, is that the code? And he's like, wait, what code? Ah, I'm so high. All right. <clears throughs> Up until the part where he was like, wait, what? I forgot what I was doing. Because then there is that. There is that. You do. There is like that. It's weird. It subconsciously enhances your long-term memory or your memory retention but in the moment of doing that i believe that your brain is like man shut the fuck up whatever it's on like autopilot so you forget what you're doing for a second until like wait what was i doing what was i saying i mean you've watched me do it several times uh, you know like i said i don't watch my videos but if i ever did one day i will go back and look and be like damn this motherfucker you know why i don't watch my videos like, honestly, I just make them post them. Because I don't want to go back and be like, oh, man. Get, like, sub self-conscious or something. Or, you know, try to change up whatever. So I've never watched one of my videos all the way through. Like, I might, I used to do, like, when I was actually, like, first starting out. And I, <clears throat> when I kind of gave a fuck, I guess. <laughs> when the fucks given was, like, one. And then that went away real quick. Because, like, doing, like, I used to put, like, shit in, when, like, in the videos, like, you'd see it, like, and it would just be, like, I'd be popping up, like, all that extra shit, man, I don't give a fuck about, I'm putting out content about cannabis, like, the shit that goes on behind me and all that, hey, man, it might be entertaining for some people, that's not how I roll, you know, like, I, I do like putting some shit up there, like, and if I had the capabilities while I was talking to have something, you know, like, pop up or something, like, but, like, I could talk. You know, like, I see that, like, some cool editing shit, but, like, for me, like, putting, like, the smiley faces I used to do, I, I got tired of doing that. So, what I was, I was just getting back into is, I'm high as shit, it's 2020, and I really want to see $50 grams, <clears throat> but that's live resin. Ooh. And the only reason is because Cresco's been at 65 at the live resin for 65 for <clears throat> at least a good solid year. Maybe it's time to come that down to 55. Ooh, drop it down to 55. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, go to 55, Cresco. I'd love to see that. Man, how badass would that be if we got Cresco Live Grams for $50, $55, and then their trim, <clears throat> right? Their um, cured stuff, whatever, for, uh, for, for 50. That will be dope. Super dope. You know? And maybe have like some <clears throat> other companies come out some live, some live. <clears throat> that would be really good. But I need my medicine. I need to take it. My back's a little sore. <clears throat> I got trim. Gonna go through some some CBD flower today. And uh, there's something else I was gonna do. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna try some. Tee hee. I was gonna try some my hand at making a different way of making gummies. I figured it out. The sunflower oil is cheaper. But the taste is... For me, I'm not a fan. I, I'm weird about taste and textures. So... Ah. Man, that fucking dab got me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking high as fuck. That's why I love cannabis. Ready? 
I mean, besides all the, the therapeutic and, you know, medical benefits, for me, you know what it is? Every time I do, like, a different strain, you know, because my tolerance is nutty. I'm not going to lie. Like, my tolerance is nutty, but also, when I go to sleep, it's like a new thing. I feel like, I feel like Kenny in South Park. Every time my fuck gets, he just gets murdered, and then he comes back brand new. <clears throat> so, like, every time I go to sleep and wake up, it's like my brain's like a brand new brain, and I get to, you know. But it's like, I only get <clears throat> eight hours <clears throat> on a good day. You guys know how it is most of these with the sleep habits. Fucking suck. I probably get up, like, three or four times a night now, you know, and... It, you know, love or death, the wife is always like, <clears throat> you eat an edible? And I'm like, yeah, well, whatever, I'll just do this. And I just don't, I don't even know. I don't feel like doing it. Sometimes I'm just like so tired. I just don't even want to chew. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think what I am going to do is just start taking and uh, just having a um, tincture upstairs. Like I thought about this. What, the, what an asshole. Put your tincture upstairs by your bed bedside and then you can just fucking just take your drops. Go to sleep. So there you go, problem solved. Um, I don't know, but yeah, getting back to my point, and that's, see, right there, it just happened, I forgot what I was talking about. <clears throat> but switching up the strains, so I haven't had this in a while, um, and I definitely haven't had this, this, like a, this, this I haven't, <clears throat> not saying they haven't had it out, I haven't had it, where it's the strain specific, um, I, I, and I'm under the assumption that it's all this phenome type number 12 right because it says number 12 so i'm under the impression that that's it um and this sugar wax that they have it used to just be um, i think it was uh i don't know what they i don't know dismiss ah uh, see take my meds nine o'clock alarm goes off what was it well, let's go see you ever get like shit in the corner of your mouth not actual shit. well maybe actual shit is that a flower box? Uh, that's a butter cookies. Flower box. Damn. Damn, I'm a dickhead. Oh, wait, nope, there's one. There's one down there. What's this? What is this thing? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you remember? Okay, I had to, I couldn't remember. Blonde wax. That's what they called it before, blonde wax. So now this is sugar wax. Yeah, what's up with this fucking hair? Dude, my hair is getting nutty long. I'm letting her, I'm letting her rock out. We're going full on hippie Jesus, I guess they call it, right? Hippie Jesus. <clears throat> Except I'm the first thing from a hippie. Somebody called me that. Fucking my butt on my body. She's fucking dirty hippie. Uh, very not, not at all dirty. Um, definitely super freaky about being like not stinky. Um, kind of OCD ish, if if you will. Um, and, you know, I definitely love cannabis, and I love earth. I pick up trash when I see it, like when I'm walking, doing my hikes. My, me and my brother, we, uh, try to, when we go out, try to have, like, of which I'm gonna actually, you know what? I should watch. I bet you, I bet you I've said something in videos and been like, yo, dude, like, go back. And I never, like, probably remind myself something. It's probably something I'm supposed to be doing, I forget. With the video, if I watch it, my point. Mm. All right, so walking through the woods, usually have like a bag, trash bag. You'll come out. Fuck, go ahead. You'll come out. You'll come out with a bag full of trash, and it's always because fucking whatever. But so, you know, in that aspect, I could be a hippie. And um, I guess like. You know, enjoying cannabis and using it, using <clears throat> the um, traditional slash non-traditional, because it used to be this way, holistic medication, and then, you know, treating yourself, doing things with yourself. Um, I can't remember what that word means, by the way, but <clears throat> I know what it means, but I don't know the act like the word, the full word definite. But, like, basically using fucking, like, herbs and shit to, to heal yourself, like, natural Basically, maybe, you know, whatever, <clears throat> but that way, um, so that does make me a hippie, uh, I guess, but I'm not a dirty hippie, Jimmy, so fuck you, buddy, <laughs> fuck you, buddy, <laughs> nah, I fucks with Jimmy, man, I like Jimmy, 
He don't fuck with me anymore. He lives in Lancaster, which isn't too far away from me. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a good strain. Um, I know that there's been like this like debacle with the labeling um, at Prime. So shame, shame, shame on yous. Now, 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 we don't do that. Listen, I get it. You don't want to waste. So, like, in my head, here's my thing. <clears throat> I, all right, with, with this whole labeling, if, if you've been, like, if you've been paying attention to social media lately, the news on the, on the cannabis net is, Prime, are they doing fuckery? <laughs> um, and my, my personal opinion is this. Somebody, a lot of people, I've seen this. You have to know how you are when you're medicated, okay? And the reason why I say is, I see a lot of people that cannot, let me, let me rephrase that. They don't know how they become under the influence of cannabis. And some people become stupid as fuck, right? They just become dumb fucktards and they can't think and they need to go sit the fuck down somewhere and not do work that requires thinking because Cannabis, and you'll see it, I've made videos about it, where some strains fucking make me a fucktard, where I'm like, nah, you know, I can't think, and it, for me, I get frustrated, and I get angry, so I stay away from those strains, because when I can't make my brain work, that makes me angry as a motherfucker, because I like my brain to work, actually, it's my brain gets mad, because it likes to work, it fucking takes control of some shit, now, with that said, what probably happened is some fucking dickhead printed out the wrong labels or put the wrong fucking shit or was like, you know, like, this is Trey Star Highwayman and they had fucking sour blueberry and they were fucking doing whatever, which you should never do. Like, never, ever, ever is good practice. Not saying this is, but in this hypothetical situation, it is never good practice to have cannabis. If you have strange specific shit, that needs to be one motherfucking person on one fucking table doing that shit. Not next to each other. One motherfucker on one fucking station like cubicles. I don't give a fuck how you do it. Set it the fuck up. Because if you don't like your fucking job, you fucking quit. So don't fucking bitch about it. But this is how you quality control. You put motherfuckers in boxes for a goddamn reason so they can't fuck shit up. If you drop your shit on the floor or whatever, boom, you're in your box. In your fucking shit. That, that's where your shit is contained at. So you have a lot of fucking this right here. Trey Star Highway, man. Boom. You put that in there with this fucking guy and his fucking labels. And you let this motherfucker do his fucking dabs. Put his shit on there. As patients, I don't give a fuck. If you put the label on upside fucking down, whatever. What I do give a fuck about, so I guess it kind of does, you know, this part right here is up right we know that this is the bottom of the fucking box so you have to be a real big fucking dickhead to put the fucking concentrate in the fucking box like this right so you can put these stickers upside down okay like you know hey man and i bet that there's probably this thing that says place sticker here or something like it's super fucking really taking the thinking out of it but when you're when you're high as fuck i get it some people just can't do shit <clears throat> So main man probably put the fucking wrong shit on or whatever. Like, there was a fuck up. However it happened. Here's pause. Where they fucked up even more after the initial fuck up. Slapping shit on top. You should have just took the first one off. Like, whatever, right? If you rip it off and it's like a little ripped. Whatever, man. It's a little ripped. But then you carefully place the other one back on top. And then you keep it moving. And then you fucking post on social media. Before it even goes out. Hey, just letting you guys know, there was a lot that had, um, you know, whatever. And being environmentally fucking conscious, conscious, we don't want to fucking throw this shit out. So, instead of doing that, what we do is, we ripped off the label. So, you may see that, but we 100% guarantee, stand behind our product, da, da, da. And, listen, you're going to get brownie points from a lot of people for, A, stepping up to the plate saying you fucked up. Because, I don't know about... Nobody else, but I'll use an I statement. I respect the motherfucker more that comes out and be like, yo, I fucked up. Because you're a human. No, everybody's perfect. Everybody runs around portraying all these perfect images out here, man. Yo, you can eat a dick till you fucking hiccup, all right? I'm trying to tell you, because that's not how life really goes. Life fucking sucks. Like, yay, I just bought a new truck. 
my butthole puckers every time I say that. You know why? Because of the anxiety I get with my fucking payment doubling. Fuck yeah, I bought a new truck. Butthole pucker, double payment. Holy fuck, to you know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of shit I'm into. That's real life shit. So it ain't always fucking yay. I mean, yeah, I'm happy I got a new truck, but I got to fucking do a bunch of shit to it because I got the base model. So to chintz out some money and save money, now I got to go ahead and do all the shit that comes with the upgraded version, the SR5, to make my shit that one so I can have the, you know, 110 in the back, like have power in the back, have an outlet. You know, it's just, it's basic shit. A tow hitch. You know, dumb shit. Tent the windows. The fucking rain guards, like, you know, fog lights, whatever. But it saves me, It'll I, all that shit will cost a thousand, a thousand, a, a thousand bucks. And, it, and the upgraded package was the truck went from 27 to 35. So, boom, what is that, fucking eight grand, right? So I'm saving seven grand doing it myself, right? <clears throat> now, moving forward, that's what happened, I think. I think that's really what happened, so don't knock Prime. Now, if you want to know about their product, if you ever want to know about a product, what the consistency is. Remember I always tell you this? Most of you ain't even watching at this fucking point. I feel like almost 40 minutes into it. But look, when I come trying to, I'm going to school you here. It's fucking time for fucking teacher fucking John here. I'm going to teach you some shit. The numbers, I keep telling you this. Listen. You, Cause like some people are like, how do you know it's a trim run? How do you know it's a nug run? How do you know it's whatever, whatever, whatever? I look at the numbers. The numbers never lie. If the THC is fucking jacked, like way crazy, right? I mean, like I, I'm saying 85 plus, all right. And then your fucking turp profile is dumb low. I mean, like I'm talking about the entire turp profile is under. Under 2%, let's just say. All of it. I mean, the entire thing. Now, if you only give you three terps and they're under that, then that's not, man, I'm talking about all of it. <clears throat> now, if they only list three terps, they got to be under 1%. The top three terps combined have to be under 1%. All right? So, remember this. Now, these are just rules of thumb. Don't fucking hold me to it. Fuck, I already hear it. I already hear, it. you know, motherfucker bitching. Like, you said this. I said these are generalized fucking things I'm saying. Basic rules of thumb to go by when you're purchasing cannabis. So you look at the numbers. If they're high as fuck, and then these numbers over here are low, right? High THC, low fucking terps. <clears throat> Usually it's going to be trim run and fucking shitty ass buds, whatever. You know? And I don't want to say it to scare anybody, but probably moldy buds too, you know? I wish that they would throw the stuff away, but I know how it is, man. You ain't throwing it away if you can use it. If you can make money out of it, you're not going to throw it. It's not trash. And if, you, if you're not going to hurt anybody. So, not saying that they do. I'm just putting that out there. And also, slash. It's like, you know, remember back in the day when you used to be like, oh, yeah, for you old heads out there like me. Back in the day, you used to get these fucking, you used to get the floor sweepings, right? Trash hash. I don't know if you guys ever had trash hash. We used to have trash hash. It was like real fucking shitty looking, real dark. It looked like heroin almost, like black, black as fuck. And it was like, nah. And like, you couldn't really smoke it. Um, sometimes I used to think it was resin, but it, like, this was actually hash. Like, it would crumble and it wasn't like sticky. Like, because I seen it back in the day. Motherfuckers used to scrape their bowls out and get all that fucking just tar, just garbage, and fucking press it in little squares and then freeze it. And then sell it to motherfuckers as hash. No. <clears throat> mm -mm. No, sir. So, but anyway, <clears throat> if the numbers are lower, ride with me, though. Also, got to look at the color. <clears throat> Usually, nobody's, I feel like this is a more expensive extraction method that Prime's doing. And that's why they do what they do. Um, and that their product comes out the way it does. So, kudos to them because it's a good product. Now, if you look at Alara, okay, look at Alara's crumble that I did. Um, what the fuck, man? What the fuck made these tissues today? I'm tripping. Um, so if you look at Alara, they had, it's, uh, where's it at? This right here. This fucking bullshit it was crumble, the prism, right? Which their jars are lame as fuck, too. Um, 
Yeah, there's not. I don't have it anymore because I fucking made capsules out of it and I ate that shit. Um, but what I'm trying to say is the point I'm trying to get to is just you know high THC, low terps. Just no matter what, low terps. When there's a readout, low terps, and the color is just really darker looking, then it's going to be fucking trim. Because, of course, they, you know, they, they use a lot more leafy material than they will actual flower material. Um, <clears throat> you know, and then the higher the terps, then the better, right? So, like the live stuff, like I said, like on this one was, was 5% just on the one terpaline. Right? You know, that thing's probably, I think total on that's like 9%. I got to look at it again, you know? And then look at like these live. Like if you look at, uh, what did I get? I got some. I got some crazy carts to re to review. And I got. By the way, I had a fucking. I had a funny story. I'll tell you. I'm gonna make another video. This is it. And then after that, we're going back to one video a day. All right. So I just told you I was trying to give do give 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 back. And speaking of the give back and giveaway, I do like the idea of that. Um. Uh, I can't remember your name, but you said about the doing a charity thing. <clears throat> and that's an actually good idea. Once I'm financially able for that to be, because I want to do more than just a couple bucks. So with that being said, I have a lot of stuff here that I could give away. So that's kind of like what I was going with. You know, like, what would you guys like? Would you like to say like a rig? Um, maybe like a, as close as I could to complete hamper box. Um, you know, stuff like that. That's what I was going with. I get what you're saying about the charitable donation, you know, and the, and the non-profit. Which, cool. But, eh. I don't... I'm not trying to justify what I'm saying, because I don't do that. But, these boxes, these shit's just sitting here. Is what I'm saying on my shelf. Like, I use this very good. I like this one. You know, this one, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of don't like it. I don't like the way it works. So, you know what? Maybe this guy. Fucking, I don't know. Whatever. So, I was thinking something like that. And then, some other shit. Other things. Like, I don't know, like a dab. I don't know. Torch, maybe. Fucking, uh, I don't know. But yeah, let me know. Dub dub! Hashtag dub dub! Fucking, I don't know, man. Whatever. 